Hello, YouTube. Today, I have created a small glider. It resembles the 2009 world record uh, paper plane. And today, we are going to use paper. This is like an A4, A4 dimension um, equivalent along with this. That It's just one-fourth of this. Equally, you just fold this up into one fourth. And what we're going to do today is we're going to make this into this very cool small glider. Kind of resembles, yeah, it's got a little bit of sauce on there. I don't know. It fell into like some food while I was throwing it upstairs. But, anyways, it's quite cool. It flies really, really well. And I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to upload another video or not about this, but I'm trying to start a new mini series. Well, not a mini series. Let's say let's call it a paper airplane series because I'm going to make different prototypes, and this is called Prototype One because it was sort of like what I created. As you know, well, actually, I didn't really create this. I sort of adopted a design and then built it. Actually, I want to say origami it. I will do other things, but I won't cut the paper. I will not fold the paper in any way that causes it to like rip. Unless it's one of the planes that I will show you, but that's only for one reason. And I have a bunch of these prototypes. They all um, are off one design that I will show you in another video. I don't know, maybe episode 5? If I can get episode 5? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do parts. But... I will show you how this one flies. I don't know when, but first we gotta get to how it's built. All right, I have to keep it on my stand right there. Oops, sorry. Stand isn't that great, but it works. And what works works. Maybe if I can get this to stay. This. I can do this. Ha ah, ha! I am a genius! Alright. What you're gonna do, first you're gonna turn it long ways, and you're gonna fold it and make a regular base. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Maybe I should put this down and add this here. Yeah, let's adjust that camera. I think you guys would probably like this better. No one really watches my videos, which is kind of sad. Eh, but I appreciate people who watch it. Or might accidentally stumble across it. So what you want to do is you want... Okay. Let me start this over. So you want to have first have a normal piece of paper. Uh, this is actually an A12 or an A8. Anyone who's out there probably should correct me because it's either an A12 or an A8 or whatever. But anyways, first you fold it down the middle. Hopefully all you guys all got that. You fold the corners in like you're about to make a dart, but then you fold this down. And after you have folded that down, you should get something that looks like an envelope, but it, of course it's not an envelope. Then you put this down very, very closely. I do not have a very proper stand. So what you want to do is you want to put it very, very closely to that edge. See, you want it to be very, very closely to the edge of that envelope point. And then you're going to match up the envelope point right there. Come on, camera, focus. All right. And after you've matched it up right there, You've matched up 
both of these edges and you folded it and you've creased it I have not done it very well you're gonna fold this little tab up to hold it in place and I just slid it off so that I can show you you're gonna fold this tab in place right there then after that you're going to fold it up like that like if you're and this design might be very familiar to for some people but it is very similar to a certain design but instead of folding it down like this we're going to match up this edge with this edge you're going to match you're not going to match up an edge at all and you're going to make a guesstimate at where your wing is going to sit. Alright, so your wings need to be really large. Like, extremely large, but do not go over the triangle tab. The triangle tab should not be folded up in these wing parts here. They should not be folded out in here. You should have your tab and it should be matched up right over here. Now remember, this is a gliding plane. It's not a stunt plane. If it is used as a stunt plane, you could really not have some good flights and you can crash it and it'll get bent up. This one, as you can see, it has crashed and it leaves little dents in the front. Oh, and by the way, before you do anything else, I almost forgot in this step. I promise I won't forget for any other steps ever again. You're going to fold this front nose down in there like that see this is the nose you're gonna flip your plane upside down you're gonna flip this down upside down this is a very important thing because you need to add weight in the nose for gliders if that you don't it's gonna be flipping around everywhere and I'm I'll probably show you that later I need to go put my phone back up I need to get a decent camera and yeah, this is pretty good it's got 12 megapixels it's pretty good. It's not the best. Yeah. This is your plane. Now to adjust it, all you do... Okay, this is with my previous plane. This is not a brand new plane. I have bent up the edges. See, here's a comparison. Here's the plane that I had been flying for a while. See, I bent up the edges. As you can see, the shadows. And you can see on the wings, if I can hold it straight, does that prove, I don't know how straight that is. As you can see, this one is not. So, I guess I'll probably show you. I obviously, I can afford, like, Adobe stuff, but my phone is not good for that. And my school iPad does not allow us to do anything with that and download the YouTube stuff. So, yeah. I will test out these two gliders, and I will show you, and I, I'm not the best at like this, actually I am, I would consider myself a paper airplane king, but there are others out there with much better talents at <coughs> paper airplanes than me. Alright, let's test this one out. Yeah, I'm not best at holding the camera. That was not the one that we made, but this one was. They fly, fly really, really well. I just don't have a big enough space. If I could show you and I could have both hands available, I can really chuck this up high. And I could get some good flying power. It, they're really, really fun, though. I think next I will show you a boomerang. I, I got it off someone's YouTube channel, but it was so cool. I have to show you guys. I have to show you for myself because they're not. This is not Photoshop that someone did. These boomerangs really, really work. I'll show you that next video, but I'm gonna probably do this. Oh, and if you can, I'm going to ask for one like on this video. One like. One like, and that's it. No, so I don't care if you guys subscribe. 
I'm not really interested in get, if you guys want to subscribe, subscribe or not, but this is all for, for your information. So if you don't want to like it, if you don't want to subscribe, it's totally fine with me. This is just prototype one. Prototype one. Yes, I made my own theme music. Yep, I'm gonna probably shut my mouth and. Yeah, also, they take a big beating when they hit the ground. But I'm glad I have carpet, not hardwood, because that would really suck. Oh, yeah, and you also have to beware for uh, climbing and stalling. These planes tend to climb and stall. A lot. So what you're gonna have to do, I forgot, I should have added this in in the first part. You're gonna throw it down, and then it will glide. I'm gonna show you again. Throw it down, and it will glide. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Alright. See you later.